Hello, we are GT Rover team from Gebze Technical University and we are excited to introduce you our next generation rover, Feza. Our team was founded in May 2020 and consists of more than 40 patient members. We have been presented our engineering skills and determination in international competitions like Anatolian Rover Challenge, University Rover Challenge and European Rover Challenge. In addition to these competitions, we participate to Technofest. This year, we are ready to showcase our skills once again ARC 2025 with FEZA. GT Rover is composed of five main sub-teams, mechanics, electronics, software, science and business. Our members coming together from more than 10 different departments across five faculties. We are working together as a multidisciplinary team. Each sub-team specializes in its own field, handling design, production and integration. All assembly and integration processes take place in our workshop, where each team plays a crucial role in bringing the FEZA to life. We are testing FEZA on the challenging terrain of our university campus to ensure that it is fully prepared for any mission. We plan to select astronauts from team members with past ARC experience and strong knowledge of rover systems. They will receive training in simulations, mission scenarios and communication. For emergencies and fast internal coordination, we will use radios with our team to ensure safety and efficiency. The mobile system designed to reduce vibrations and shocks, making it suitable for harsh off-road conditions. The chassis is made of 2.5 mm thick carbon fiber composite by vacuum infusion method. It's specially designed to protect important electronic components thanks to its lightweight and high strength. The composite plates are cut in a suitable and precise way using water jet technology and mounted to each other with aluminum brackets. A special designed battery pack is positioned at the bottom of the chassis. Thanks to this battery pack, it's aimed to protect the batteries that power the rover. The suspension system is designed using a total of four double air chamber shock absorbers connected to independent wheel legs. In this way, it protects the rover against the risk arising from external factors and facilitates a stable driving. Thanks to design tracker system, it's aimed to stabilize the vehicle on rough terrains by working integrated with the right and left suspension system of the vehicle. In the drill mechanism, a tube mechanism placed around the auger will be used for efficient sample collection and samples taken will be safely stored in containers. Four airless wheels made of TPU material using FTM technology have a diameter of 27 cm and a treat width of 10 cm and are designed to be drivable. The wheel base of the rover is 70 and the track length is 95 cm. The total weight of the rover is determined as approximately 50 kg. A six-axis robotic arm was used to perform the manipulation tasks. In the first axis, a DC motor with a reducer was used and a belt pulley with a torque ratio of 1.6 was preferred to transfer the motion from the motor. In the second and third axis, a uniquely designed cycloid gear system with a torque ratio of 1.36 which can fulfill the vertical movement of the robot arm will be used to prevent efficiency loss due to friction. In this axis, motion is provided by DC motors and timing belt pulley system. In the fourth axis, the axial rotation moment is provided by a special belt pulley mechanism integrated with DC motors to ensure optimum tension of the system. In the fifth and sixth axis, the differential wrist mechanism was operated more stably thanks to helical gears produced using SLM technology. The connections between the axes were provided using carbon fiber plates and aluminum components, and the durable robot arm weighing 15 kg and 1.2 meters long was designed. A two-fingered adaptive gripper was designed using TPU material and a spring system for easy gripping of the samples and better grip of the fingers in the gripper, which works with a warm gear mechanism. For the embedded system of the rover, we are using STM32 microcontroller for real-time control, which communicates with NVIDIA Jetson Orion. This year, we have built the entire embedded system software from the ground up using bare metal programming. The STM32 and Orin exchange data through UART in full duplex mode, ensuring seamless communication. Additionally, by utilizing feedback from our new stepper motor drivers, we achieve precise PID control based on encoder data. Communication between the command station and the vehicle is provided by UB Creature Rockets M2 routers operating at 2.4 GHz bandwidth. 
This setup is achieved by using a sector antenna at the control station and two omnidirectional antennas on the vehicle. The use of this dual router setup prevents the mixing of video and data. The mini IP cameras and routers used ensure that video is transmitted continuously and stably. The AirMax feature of Rocket M2 routers facilitates data transmission, reduces frequency fluctuations, and minimizes interference within the system. The hardware and software features of the selected equipment enable continuous monitoring and control of communications. Let's take a look at the Focus Power System. The stepper motors and driver system are powered by 24 volt and 32,000 mAh battery, while the robotic arm mechanism is powered by 12 volt. 22,000 mAh battery. The remaining power requirements are met by our customer designed regulator board. Additionally, the inter power system is managed by our custom designed BMS. The vehicles also feature an emergency stop button. The emergency stop button ensures quick and safe power shutdown in critical situations. Our autonomous rover uses ROS2 based system for navigation, perception, and control. Here is how the software works. Encoder and IMU data go into an external Kalman filter to improve odometry accuracy. To now the system plans paths using GPS waypoints. Stereo camera runs for slam on the JSON Orient to map environment in real time. If odometry becomes inaccurate, sensor fusion of GPS, encoder and IMU helps correct it. ROS2 uses this data to send real-time velocity command to the STM32 controller. When the rover reaches target, it searches for ARCA markers. If none are found, it begins a spiral search using OpenCV. The 360-degree camera stream video via GStreamer over the detected Wi-Fi link. During missions, images are compressed and sent to Grand Station. Our Grand Station built with React shows real-time data like odometry, sensor status, and mission updates. As a science team, our main goal is to search sign of life and suitable areas on Mars, as well as to conduct preliminary studies for future manned Mars missions. In this context, we first identify areas suitable for life by examining the regions on Mars from geological and biological perspectives through literature reviews. We create our research hypothesis by analyzing these areas in detail through applications such as JMars and Google Earth Pro. The onboard systems we have developed for analysis and experiments on the surface of Mars are very important. With this science platform, we enrich our data pool by collecting comprehensive data on the physical and chemical properties of Martinian soil. In addition to onboard systems, we also obtain detailed information about the physical, chemical and biological content of Martinian soil through experiments we carry out in the laboratory environment and the support or invalidate the hypothesis we have formed.